Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a virtual machine inside VirtualBox. Now, if you are unaware of how to use VirtualBox or install VirtualBox, I've created a video on how to download and install VirtualBox on Windows 7. The video will be linked in the description. Okay, now to start, first we need to open up VirtualBox. Then we need to click New. And we need to give our virtual machine, our new virtual machine, a relevant name Xiapan OS. Then we need to select Linux as a type and other Linux as a version. Okay, now we need to select the amount of RAM. Now, Xipan OS will run with 256 RAM, however, I would recommend using 512. Okay, now it asks for, a, for us to create a virtual hard drive. Now, we don't actually need to create a virtual hard drive for Xipan OS as it's loaded entirely within RAM. However, just for now, let's just uh, go with the default option. And just go with the default option again. Yep, just go dynamic allocated. Let's go default. Yep. What I like to do is I like to set it to 2 gigabytes. That's just my personal preference. You can leave it at the default, but I just like to choose 2. Okay, now our virtual machine is created. Now what we need to do is we need to get our hands on the Xiapan OS ISO image. Now you can do that by going to Xiapan and registering and going to clicking on the Xiapan most downloaded here. Once you've logged in to Xiapan you can click on this button right here for most downloaded and it will take you to this page where you can download the IZ image once you've logged in into Xiapan. We'll take you here, then you just click download, download the ISO image. Small image, only 70 megabytes. Download it. Once you finish downloading it, you should have it here. Once you finish downloading the ISO image, now you can use it inside a virtual machine. And this is how we use it inside a virtual machine. First, we right click the virtual machine, click settings. Then we go to storage, then we select this right here that looks like a disk, just select that for the virtual disk. And what we want to do is click this one right here, choose virtual CD drive. And as you can see I've already got a large list of ISO images. But the one we're looking for is Xipan OS. Once that's loaded, it's all good. OK. Now we're ready to begin the virtual machine. So all we have to do now is click Start. The virtual machine should load up. What we want to do is we want to select the Boot from Virtualization option, as we are using a virtual machine. Should load up. This is just loading all the extensions from the extension directory. Perfectly normal. Okay, and there we go. Xipan OS virtual machine. And that's it. And if you want to end it, just click stop. Let's go to shutdown. I want to think to note is uh, sometimes when you're using uh, VirtualBox. When you attempt to click your mouse into the window itself, it doesn't follow the mouse so well. So what you have to do is you have to disable mouse integration. What you can do is you can uh, right-click down here, disable mouse integration. You can also do it from the menu here, disable mouse integration. Once you've disabled mouse integration, you can click into the virtual machine more fluidly, more easily without 
being disturbed from the uh, Windows mouse. And whenever you want to exit, just press the control key, the right control key, allow your mouse to come out. And then to enter the virtual machine again, just click anywhere in there. That's it. Very first. Zypan virtual machine.